Today we're going to talk about drawing labs from an arterial line. The first thing we need to consider is the container that we're going to put our blood sample into. Uh, the container must have anticoagulant. So the first type is a vacutainer. This is kind of the most common. If you're just going to draw an ABG, the other option we have is a blood gas syringe. It looks like this. has 100 units of heparin on the inside. The first method we can use for drawing our arterial blood from our art line is just a normal stopcock. So the way we do this is we take the cap off, we apply a 10 cc syringe, and we turn the stopcock off to the pressurized bag. When we withdraw our 10 cc's we can see that there's saline that we're drawing back and we want to make sure that we draw at least 10 cc's and that way it doesn't dilute our sample. Once we get the 10 cc's, we can turn our stopcock off. However, we want to make sure it's at a 45 degree angle because if it's upright, it can reintroduce uh, pressurized saline into our sample and dilute it. Once the stopcock is off at the 45 degree angle, we attach a 3 cc syringe and then we can draw our undiluted sample. So I'm going to turn the stopcock off to air, remove my sample, send that to the lab, and then I'm going to flush my system. The second method we can use for drawing our blood sample from our art line is this built-in plunger set. We want to make sure that the stopcock right in front of the plunger is parallel. Once it's parallel, we're able to draw back on the plunger and on the syringe and pull out all that saline that's in line so our sample is not diluted. One of the things about this plunger set is it eliminates the need for the 10cc syringe like we saw in the first, the first way. Once that's all turned in, we want to make sure we top, turn our stopcock anti-parallel. We then take our 3cc blood syringe, hook it up to the stopcock, and we withdraw our undiluted sample of blood. We send this off. Next step is we turn this stopcock back parallel and we go ahead and push on the plunger and flush it. Once that's there, we can go ahead and flush with the transducer.